Well, it's just on previous pictures. I had uh, this was on here. And, you know, the idea is okay if it actually spanned, you know, the whole thing there. But the, uh, the wire's getting in the way and the silicone and everything like that because it's actually a C-channel. And I could cut the front off here, but that's kind of like, okay, well, why? And it was only attached at one corner. So, I like the Z-axis cover so much that I think what I'm going to do here... I've got some more of the, the angle here. I'm going to... I've already cut it to length, and I've already put my marks on it. I'll put a couple divots in there with a mill, end mill, so it uh, will come down. And I'm thinking I should be able to go flush. Like that. And then, I guess in this case, I'll put the tape on top. That may come up a little higher. Because if I come up a little higher, then I can put the... Uh, then I can put the tape on the bottom side and then the plexiglass and still clear that. But it's not going to really matter which side the tape's on. Uh, it just looked a little cleaner being under. Uh, but then basically what I'll do is I'll clean this and the other with some brake cleaner, and I'll use the double-sided tape to hold it to the cross slide. I think that ought to be plenty strong enough. So, and it's easily accessible if it doesn't work. You know, I'm going to use double-sided tape. I could drill and tap some holes in there, but, you know, I think we'll try the double-sided tape first. And uh, see how that turns out. So I want to put a couple of divots in here with the end mill. I happen to have just a, I might change that. That's a four flute. I'm going to do that right there. That'll get, get me parallel because this aluminum is way too thin for the uh, for the parallels I have to fit in there. Kind of like that problem I had before. So I pull that out. That's certainly held steady enough. And since this is 100 thou thick, I can set it to uh, just over the thickness of the aluminum and still not catch the vice jaw. Uh, and I'm just going to eyeball the position. I've got marks there, so I'm just going to call it good. Basically what I have so far for this side, it'll. Uh, I'm just holding it up underneath right there, just because it's a little easier actually. Um, so that should that should work. The plexiglass will actually be on top though. Then the metal can sit down. Everything can just be down just a, a little bit lower there. The uh, X mount for the ball screw. You know this. Uh, this ball screw's definitely got some uh, chips and stuff on it. Some damage from previous, but uh, hopefully uh, that won't be an issue. Yeah, you know, I was, I was making a couple of those other test parts and stuff like that, and it really wasn't that much of an issue, so I'm going to assume it's not going to be an issue this time. I'm bending over and picking up parts, that's more of an issue. Uh,
I'll tell you what, all the tolerances are uh, pretty darn tight for how much slop there is with where the screws go in and everything. There's uh, not much. Now here's one, not so much an issue, but these are slotted here. But this is going to bolt up to this other plate. So unless these are slotted, there is no adjustment. And they're not. Man, that's kind of nice. I'm just barely turning it. I'm not even turning it a full tooth over here on the uh, year. And I can see the reflection in the oil on the slider, on the wiper there, uh, changing slightly. So that's telling me that this whole thing is moving. So, so much nicer. And I haven't even put any oil or anything like that in the ball screws yet, so. Well, at the point we're ready to put this plate back on. Um, got this tightened up, and it's slightly recessed behind this. These top two are perfect, so it, it's not pushing it out. I'm not going to worry about it uh, too much. Um, but since the back of that plate is going to go up against that thrust bearing, I'm going to move that forward just a little bit there. I did clean and uh, put some grease in there. Alright. Oh! <laughs> I suppose I should put that uh, guard on there for the uh, Z-axis. Now let me tighten this down since it has to, it's part of the clearance issue. Um, this is the last part of the equation that I didn't check, so let's. Uh, Now there's two holes here. I'm guessing for differences in uh, installations, maybe. Okay, couple screws. Two screws ought to be enough to hold it up there and give me an idea if it fits or not. Yeah, it just barely clears those big bolts there. Just barely. Sixteenth of an inch. It's going to end up getting scraped up because... Uh, Right down in here, it's really, really close to the bottom of this plate. Nice. Well, I've got the thrust bearings on there, on both sides. I turned it so that uh, it's pushing up against it there. And then this is the steel washer in the countersink. Oh, 
Okay, I can snug that down a little bit after the fact, I think, but... Uh, that's tight enough that... Uh, uh, I know that the, the ball screw and the... What do you call it? Or clamp together. The knob. Like I said, I haven't figured out for this side, okay, the uh, the guard. Now this one's going to have to be a little bit more elaborate. Um, reason being is, is you know, I need the protection. I want the protection all the way up to the to the bearing here, to the back of this plate, okay, because I don't want chips and garbage to go down in there into that uh, thrust bearing, okay. And I want it to cover the ball screw. So that's as far as it would come toward me. So obviously I need to have it a little bit longer here. And it looks like I might be able to put a mount in one of these screws back here to hold the back end. But the instead of the cover going carrying with the, uh, the cross line, I need it to be fixed to this piece here. So, so that's bottomed out. Now I still got... I still have at least another inch, inch and a, oh, excuse me, inch and a quarter here that I could go that way. Uh, and I obviously have plenty of ball screw, but I hit the, uh, the back of the shield back there, so I'll have to keep that in mind when I get to the splash guard and start putting it on. Because if I get rid of this, you know, then I could put, uh, get another inch of travel out of it there if I really wanted I don't know that I need it right now. I can just mess with that later. So let's figure out how, to, how we want to protect the, the ball screw here. Your ideas and thoughts would be a whole lot more effective if you were here to share them. <laughs> I was looking to see how far it had to come this way and how much clearance I had. Uh, for the uh, X bracket, and what I found was that uh, the it crashes here into the motor. So that's uh, that's pretty close, but you know it would actually be better if the motor was out another half an inch. Uh, if it was out another half an inch, then I could clear and I could come in a little further. Not that I really need to. Uh, certainly don't need to. Oops. So maybe what I'll have to do is set up some kind of limit switch or something like that. And I found that if I put a Allen screw or the Allen wrench over here, uh, it might break that loose at some point. But turning it this direction it easily works. So uh, now what I what I could do is I could go ahead and take this bit size and put it in a uh, power screwdriver and run it back and forth with that. I think I might have rounded up, figured out kind of what uh, what I might want to do here. Um, you know, I've got, I've got some stainless steel that'll work. This, this might be stainless steel. Uh, I haven't checked over the magnet yet, but anyway, uh, not that it matters. But this is, uh, this is just a scrap piece that, uh, uh, a guy at work gave me, actually. Had to clean out his garage when he was moving and that stuff. Now, I have a couple of pre-existing holes down here for the, uh, the traveling steady rest. Okay, and with this being steel or stainless instead of aluminum, I think it would be strong enough that if I drill those holes right, that I could, I got to take the ball screw out of the way, obviously, but <clears throat> I could put the, uh, 
bolts in there and it would hold the whole thing down. Okay. Then what I'll do is, uh, if you can see that well enough, I'm not sure, I want to notch the bottom here so that this whole thing, and I'll cut it to where there's no holes here. I'll uh, clean the piece up just a bit, but anyway, then it'll step over and the, and the bracket will actually come to here. Thought process. Makes my brain hurt. Two cells are just uh, working overtime now. So I'm liking that. The angle here is a little bit over 90. I don't think I'm really going to worry about it too much. Uh, be a pain in the rear to try to straighten it. But anyway, uh, I uh, marked and drilled and uh, did those two holes there. And that's on there good and solid because this is a nice heavy uh, piece of uh, steel here. And I notched it here. Okay. Uh, I had to take a ball screw off, back off, obviously. So, now what I'm looking to do is put that on there so that it's just a hair above that. I'll probably have to trim this uh, edge back just a little bit. It'd be okay if, if I pulled this up to 90 and pulled this back to 90. Uh, so it'll be like that. But anyway, it's going to be like that all the way to the end here to cover it covers there. So what I'll do is I'll put a screw in the end here, okay, uh, with an eye lock and make, make it snug so it stays in place. But then on this end, I'm going to have a stud basically sticking out, basically a screw threaded through coming out this way and then a little slot in the wing nut. And then that way I can undo it and lift that up so that I can see what's going on with the ball screw, clean it out, whatever, and then put it back. So that's that's the idea. We'll see if I can pull it off. Uh, yeah, and then once that's there, then uh, uh, I'll I'll put something you know on on this side, uh, and it may even just be a straight piece. Of, oh, actually, it may just be a piece of plexiglass because I can get that to the right size and stuff. Uh, notch it and everything, and then the uh, other plate will overlap it there, and that should really keep all the chips out of this. So. That's where it's sitting for now. I like where it's going, I just don't like how long it's taking. <laughs>